In this video, we see the second type of problem based on the concept of inverse of a function. We have already seen what is inverse of a function. We have also seen some more insights to the same with one problem. This is the second illustration in a numerical problem. Let's get started and read the problem together. If a function is from real to real, that means the codomain as well as the domain is given to me as real numbers, we defined as function is equal to x square plus 5x plus 9, which is a quadratic expression as you can see. We have to find what is f inverse of 8 and what is f inverse of 9. The question is very simple. Whatever methodology we will be applying for f inverse of 8, the same thing can be applied to f inverse of 9 or f inverse of 4, whatever is asked to me. So, how do we go about it? We just write that let f inverse of 8 is equal to x. Because the question is in what? The question is in x. So, we need to assume it equal to x. Now, we have been given x square plus 5x plus 9 is my fx, right? So, if I manipulate this step, it would be what? f inverse 8 is equal to x, that means fx is equal to 8. We just have to transpose it. That means this inverse would become fx and 8 would be left as it is. Now, fx has the value in the question. We substitute the value and we write it equal to 8, which is the right hand side. Now, I have to make the quadratic expression simpler. So, I just write it x square plus 5x plus 1 equal to 0. We have a quadratic expression. What do we need to do? We need to solve this quadratic for x. We will get two roots and the solution can be done by quadratic formula. What is the quadratic formula? The quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. We have studied this formula in our junior classes, class 10th. We can solve it using the same formula. Let's solve it. x is equal to minus b, that means minus 5, plus minus root b square, that means root 25 minus 4 into 1 into 1, that means 4 upon 2a, that means 2 into 1. Now, the root has 21 inside which is not a perfect square, the root remains as it is. So, it is minus 5 plus minus under root 21 upon 2, that is the value of x. This is the answer that we obtain, but it is advisable in set theory in functions that you write the solutions in curly braces. So, the answer could be written as f inverse 8 which was asked to me is equal to the first root which is minus 5 plus under root 21. So, minus 5 plus root 21 whole over 2 and minus 5 minus root 21 whole over 2. So, minus 5 minus root 21 whole over 2 and this can be enclosed in the curly braces. This is the solution to the first thing asked. What was the first thing asked? The first thing asked was f inverse 8 which we found out. Now, after this answer, the next thing that is being asked is what? The next thing that is being asked is f inverse of 9. So, we need to find out f inverse of 9 also accordingly in the same manner. So, let us see what is f inverse of 9 and how to do it. Let f inverse of 9 is again x. Now, if f inverse of 9 is x, fx is equal to 9. If f x is equal to 9, what is the value of f x given in the question? The value of f x is x square plus 5 x plus 9. So, we will have to write it x square plus 5 x plus 9 is equal to 9. So, 9 and 9 gets nullified and cancelled. We just have x into x plus 5 is equal to 0. So, there are two roots that means we have x as 0 and x as minus 5. So, it is 0 comma minus 5 written in curly braces which is f inverse of 9. So, we can see two answers that we have obtained. The first was finding f inverse 8. What was the technique to follow find f inverse 8 and f inverse 9? They were the same. First, we 
assume that equal to x then fx is equal to 8 solve the quadratic with the help of this formula called as quadratic formula obtained two roots similarly what we did was we did f inverse 9 fx is equal to 9 solved it using the quadratic formula or you can solve it using the splitting of middle term or common taking common as x and then you get the answer so this was the video in which we saw the second illustration based on the inverse of functions